Hello everyone and thank you so much for being on this Unreal Engine tutorial for beginners that will show you a simple way to add text to your level. Now I'm talking about a static text that is either 2D or 3D depending on your requirements which will be a useful addition to things like walking simulators and other games which want to showcase a particular amount of textual information in the level that simply appears or is placed in the level itself as a physical object. Now, I'm not going to do anything interactive with the same text. I'm not going to show you how to animate or appear, disappear it and anything else. I'm just going to add it in the same manner I would add any other static mesh to my level. Of course, if you're a beginner, please don't forget to check out other beginner tutorials I did so far. You can find them on my channel and let's get to it. So to do that, you simply need to go to your place actors and type in text. Now, chances are if you're a beginner and you don't have any plugins installed, you'll just get this text render, not text 3D. Text render will allow you to add a simple 2D text to your level. Let me show it to you really quick. Here it is and here you can also edit it and change it to for example hello and the text will appear in the same place let me just show it to you real fast here it is the text is in the level, it's not rotated or placed in the right manner, but it is there. Now this is the starter content element you have. Now I'm going to delete it and add a fully 3D text that will allow you instantly to change some of the parameters you might want to find in your level. That is text 3D. To get it, you simply need to add the same plugin. It's again in your starter pack, but you will need to search it and add it to Unreal, so 3D text. And here it is, as you can see, it's of course a beta version, you'll get the notification about it being unstable, that's all well and already familiar to anyone who added any plugins. You enable it, the Unreal Engine will restart, reboot and get you the same option right here. So when you type in text, you'll get a 3D text option as well. So let's see how it works. It works pretty well and provides pretty solid results. Here it is. On the first glance, it looks pretty similar, but it allows for that crucial element of thickness, which you can't edit in text render. So you'll get a third dimension and you can extrude it. So let's zoom in a bit and let's change it to welcome. it's immediately changing in the world in the level as well and now for example if i go to extrude to uh, let's say 15 you'll see that it gets a lot more thickness of course the great thing about 3d text and text render both is that you can move edit and change them in a pretty similar fashion like any other static mesh so you can change their location as you can see, it's already reacting to uh, the light sources. It has a shadow, a pretty cool shadow. You can influence that as well. That applies the same way to the text render, to the basic text render. And now with this, you can of course also rotate it and change its position in the game level you're building. Now, Let's see, I want to add a few more of these. Great thing, like most things in Unreal, is that I can simply copy paste them. And here is another text I created. As you can see, you can see them in the world outliner. They're just multiplying and adding another name, which is text 3D actor 2. And I can change it to, for example, Uh, 
button to the demo level and I can extrude it for even a bit more. There are also other options like bevel. You can change that, see how it looks like or maybe go for a bit more. Bevel type, all of them look pretty well pretty interesting how the results change you can experiment with different means of bevel type pretty cool and instantly recognizable results and of course there is the number of segments the bevel segments that you can use let's see how for example 5 looks like and let's go with engraved or even convex and all of these are open to your experimentations and to your individual needs the same goes for the materials you can see you have a range of options that's front material bevel material extrude material back material even font as you can see this is Roboto font, but there are other options as well, alignment and many more things that you can experiment with, including in those things that you need for your own levels. So that's basically it. As you can see, it's a pretty straightforward process. It's a pretty simple process. It includes the addition of the 3D render or the text 3D plugin. But as you can see in the game, things can look pretty amazing again this is only the addition of 3d text without any interactivity or any kind of dynamic thing like for example this disappearing once i pass next to it or anything like that or even having any colliders i can simply move through them however for the basic option of simply adding 3d text it's hard to beat text 3d and if you have any need for a simple text that is 2d you can use the starter content without any plugins which is the text render option in actors that's all for this tutorial it's pretty simple it's pretty straightforward thank you so much for watching if you are a unreal engine beginner like me please consider subscribing i would love to have you around for new videos also if you have any questions or comments leave them in the comment section below if you found this video useful a uh, like from you would be a lot useful to me or very useful to me and the same goes for subscribing so that's it again a huge thanks for watching have a great day and have loads of fun in unreal engine bye bye